Hello, in this short demonstration, I'll be showing you how to perform uh, and enable data access on your models. So I'm going to be loading uh, this data coming from Excel into uh, my <coughs> SAP Analytics Town, sorry. So first, I'm going to create a new model. So we're going to import the file from my computer. I'm going to select uh, this file. And use the first row as a column header. So what I'll do is also show you how you can use, uh, how you can create your own hierarchies. So this is something I've seen a lot of people asking me the question. So I'm just going to show you. So first we're going to do the model. So this is going to be the organization. Uh, I'm going to put here the account. Uh, periodicity, uh, month, the date has been uh, recognized, and this is the budget. Okay, so here we have very basic data. So I'm going to give it a nice name. <laughs> so maybe uh, uh, SACRO level security. Live demo, and uh, we're not going to be using a planning. I'm sorry, it's raining really hard, so maybe you can hear it. And I'm going to create this model. So now, uh, what I want to do is, after uh, all this data model has been loaded is simply I'm going to create a hierarchy to show you how to create hierarchy. I'm sure you know how to do it, but just in case. So we see the granularity. Uh, maybe I want to have just year and month. The accounts, <coughs> so expense and sales, periodicity, uh, and the month. And I'm going to go into the organization. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to cut and paste this. And now what I want to do is to create first a hierarchy on this level. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a hierarchy. This is going to be my country, countries or regions hierarchy. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to leave uh, APJ. I'm going to put uh, Australia in APJ, France in EMEA, Italy too. Japan in APJ. And as you see what I'm doing here, uh, I'm creating uh, the, um, the hierarchy. And of course, we could put here a total or we could create a more complex hierarchy with using the parent-child here uh, relationship. But uh, basically, this is good. And I could do it also for, for the accounts here, but I'm just going to uh, go back to the organization. And uh, I'm sure you can hear the rain, it's quite crazy. Uh, what we're going to do is enable the data access control. So on this level, I'm just going to go into the preferences and enable data access control. And here, so we see uh, we have two new columns with, uh, with read and write. And uh, as the creator and as admin, I'm going to be able to see everything in there. But I'm going to add a, a second user. So I have two users here, Raphael Walter. And uh, I'm just going to give write access, read access only to EMEA, to this second Raphael Walter. Okay, so this is a completely different account, even though uh, they have the same uh, username uh, when you connect. Uh, these are completely different user IDs. And now I'm going to save this. So with my admin account, which sees all the data, uh, I'm now going to create a story using Sacro Level Security Live Demo Model. And as the admin, I'm going to be able to see all the data there. So Sac um, Live Demo. Uh, we're basically just going to go and create a table here. So table and this is the data so we see the total the account I'm gonna add in the rows 
I'm going to add the um, uh, category, actuals, uh, the organization, sorry. Okay, and now we see I have APJ with Australia and Japan, EMEA, France, Italy. I'm just going to do a little bit of um, I'm change this layout from standard to report styling. Okay. This is a little bit better, and uh, I'm going to go back. And on the orgs, I want to see the total. So now we see the totals down there. Okay. So basically, as the admin, being able to see everything, I see APJ, EMEA, and US. So now I'm going to save this, and uh, I'm going to go into the public folder, and I'm going to save uh, SAC. Role level security live demo, and I'm gonna save uh, this story. So basically, just to show you, I've enabled that access. Now, if I go and I'm gonna go into, as you can see here, I'm in Chrome. I'm using uh, the incognito window, and I'm connected with the second account. So if we go and we browse the models, we're going to see uh, this SAC role level security demo. And we're going to load this. And uh, oh, sorry, I logged it. I'm going to browse the, the stories. And now what we're going to see is that there is only EMEA. So this is the same, but this user can only see uh, EMEA information. And this was set at the, uh, at the level of the, um, of the model using that access. Of course, I did it with one user. We could actually do it with uh, roles. And, uh, and in this way, you could also do it. I've done it on the countries, but we could do it also on, on the accounts or the organization to make a more precise uh, data access control. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Rafia Walter. I'm a pre-sales, BI pre-sales at ACP. Thank you very much.